it's Jeanette and Dean here from Aussie Travellers. If you've been following our channel, you know that we had spent 16 months house and pet sitting our way throughout Mexico. When we left Mexico, we headed up to Vancouver. So we made it to we made it to Vancouver. We've been out today uh, doing a hop on hop off bus. And if you haven't checked out our channel, we've got a clip on um, Vancouver, and also a couple of clips on Vancouver Island. Then we headed to Hawaii and just had three nights there, so just a short trip. Then back to Australia. We've been home just over eight months now, had Christmas with our kids. We were given the news that we were going to become grandparents, so now we have a new grandbaby, and she's absolutely beautiful. Dean picked up a new job. Not something I really expected to be doing. Uh, sort of thought I'd given away this stuff, but uh, the only thing that seems to keep going through my head is the song by uh, Uncanny X-Men. It's everybody wants to work, no, no, not me. Everybody wants to work, no, no, not me. That's it. COVID struck and our house and pet sitting gigs around Brisbane were canceled and uh, we've just moved into a new house so we've been pretty busy we're here for the duration and um, gonna deck this place out with some furniture let's take a look Best spot the pool yay when we set off to go to mexico we got down to two backpacks worth of clothes and a small storage shed with some personal stuff in it but definitely didn't keep any furniture but first let us rewind a few months before COVID hit and our lives changed. Oh, look at my eyes, I'm tired. Tired eyes. Okay. After a year and a half uh, on the road, we are now in the queue of uh, Hawaiian Airlines at Honolulu, over there, at Honolulu <laughs> Airport on our way back to Brisbane. Uh, looking forward to seeing family and friends. Yay. And then on to new adventures at some stage uh, in the next six months or so. Yep. After a brief stopover back in Australia. Vamanos. <laughs> Vamanos. Looking good. <laughs> what do you think, Oscar? What do you think, Oscar? It was very brief in Brisbane as we had family commitments uh, south of the border in New South Wales. Let's have a look down there. It's quite a beautiful spot. Hello, everybody from Aussie Travellers in Aussie. Yeah, we, we made it. We're in Down Under. We're at Kingscliff Beach today. We're driving from uh, northern, top of northern New South Wales, so Tweed area, and we're driving down the scenic tourist route, which goes through Kingscliff, um, Pottsville, Hastings Point, and a couple of other um, places. Little, little coastal towns. Just, yeah, little coastal towns. Most people will just go the boring freeway six lanes or four lanes or whatever it is that you can fly along in 110 k's an hour. Not us. Not us, not today. We're, it's a nice, nice sort of a day and we thought we'd uh, check out the beach. Check out the beaches.
Really? No. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my God, that's crazy. Take me back to Port Ayo, Escondido. Lots of them in that, that's too cold. Kingscliff and Pottsville is known as the um, Northern Rivers area of New South Wales. It's a beach community and it's super popular for family holidays, most opting to camp in tents or caravans. It really has a lovely laid back feel with its beautiful white sands and little inlets where you can go fishing and um, kayaking or just have a uh, swim in the little lagoon area here. A little bit further south is Brunswick Heads. Brunswick Heads is a small unspoilt coastal village on the New South Wales coast. We used to come here um, camping when the kids were little and, and stay in this caravan park that you can see here. The nice thing about Bruns is that it's managed to retain its seaside village atmosphere despite all the coastal development uh, along the coastline not that far away. There's two timber bridges that allow you to cross the water and the water is um, the inlet or you know just just off the uh, Brunswick Heads River but safe for swimming super windy on the day we were there. There's a car bridge and this uh, walk bridge that you can see Dean getting blown across. So we made it across the windy bridge and here's the view from the other side. People still swimming even, oh there was a little baby in there but not sure where the baby's gone. Jeanette's going to try out the water temperature here and see what it's like. In her words she said other people are going for a swim so it can't be too cold but I've also been seen people swim in the Antarctic as well pretty sure it's cold there <laughs> guessing from the look on her face that it's actually cold so there you go <laughs> freezing no good no go the bridges lead you to the surf beach on the other side. Now take a look at this. This is a very expansive beach. It's, got, it's absolutely beautiful. It's got beautiful white sands. It's unpolluted. The coastline spans all the way south down to Byron Bay, which is quite a well-known beach. The day we were here, it was super windy, so you can see there's somebody out um, kite surfing. One of the things that, as Australians that we take for granted, and it's only when you travel around the world and see other beaches, which we loved, is you sometimes you can have the beach to yourself or not too many people on it. This guy was the only one in the water. Anyway, so the kite surfers now out of the water, and I'm not sure why they do this, but I saw it the other day where they walk out with the kite up in the air and come across the beach. I would have thought uh, you would just drop it down on the beach, but maybe because it's so windy down there, it's too hard to drop it down. Yeah. baby yeah and drop it down on the grass in the area where it's not so windy maybe here it comes <laughs> he's trying well i think it's a bit cleaner maybe as well yeah. so and Ooh. there it goes there you go 
got it, Danny. He did it. Is he, Danny? Took him a few seconds. Looks like a lot of work. He's uh, muscly. I think you need to be muscly by the looks <laughs> of it, because he is muscly. Okay, so back to our home state of Queensland. And Queensland is um, packed with prince, pristine beaches, tropical islands, lush rainforests. It's bounded uh, north and east by the Coral Sea. In landmass, it's the second largest in Australia, and it's home to the Great Barrier Reef and about five million people as well. Our uh, biggest and most famous airline, Qantas, was established back in 1920 in Longreach in um, Queensland. About one hour north of Brisbane is the Sunshine Coast. So this is the, uh, the Dickey Beach Family Holiday Park. So it's uh, uh, Americans and Canadians, you might call it an RV park, maybe. But, uh, a decent sort of a setup, and then just there, there's their access straight to the beach. So it's protected a bit from the wind, um, which, it's, which is nice. You don't want it to be too windy, but uh, close enough to the water just to pop out a big caravan for a quick walk down to the beach. Container ships way up the horizon, ready to come into, into the port for Brisbane. See, it's taking the shoes off, so we'll see what happens. The water's looking very nice and swimmable today, quite calm, not too rough. Even the sand's not too hot. No shoes on, but she's still managing to walk without running. It's really. Yeah, we're at uh, Dickey Beach in Caloundra, on the Sunshine Coast, it's called. And it's definitely living up to its name today. Lots of sunshine. Yeah. The water's a little bit colder than what we're used to. Or what we could, what we'd like, I guess. But when it's a hot enough day, uh, nice to get out there and have a bit of a swim. So we might, we might go for a dip. I don't know. Maybe, not. probably, not. maybe not today. Maybe another day. But you can see the beach goes all the way down and to the point there, and I think that's probably Malulaba. Malulaba. Yeah. So yeah, it'd be a fair decent walk if you wanted to walk it. The Sunshine Coast is a popular um, getaway for people that work in Brisbane. As I said before, it's just one hour, about one hour north of um, Brisbane, so an easy escape on the weekends to such a beautiful spot. Another hour north um, up the coast from here in the Gympie area is Rainbow Beach. It's a beautiful coastal town of about 1,300 people. It's uh, a popular destination for four-wheel driving. Uh, there's lots of uh, tracks outside of Rainbow Beach and also um, for fishing and camping and beach lovers. It's, it's a really beautiful spot. It's an area where you can four-wheel drive on the beach as well. It's also um, a gateway to the southern end of Fraser Island and um, on a little spot called Inskip, which is you turn left before you get into uh, Rainbow Beach, is Manta Ray Barge. It's a barge that will take you to the southern end of Fraser Island. Um, I'll give you the link to this one. 
there's in the area there's lots of ways to get to Fraser Island. Uh, this one, you take your four-wheel drive down to the beach and drive onto the barge, um, and it runs all year round. But if you're going to Fraser Island, you do need a permit over there. So best to do some homework beforehand, and I'm just going to give you one of the links, just so if you want to look it up at all. That's the bottom of Fraser Island. Looking across from Inskip Point. And the barge, the ferry that takes the four-wheel drives across. We decided we're going to go for a swim here. We had a look at Rainbow Beach, but there was quite a few waves and little blue bottles around, so we thought we'd come up here instead. Have a look. In town at Rainbow Beach, on the headland is the um, Surf Life Saving Club. The views from the dining room area. Uh, Spectacular is probably a good word, just beautiful. Uh, so if you're anywhere in this area, I would highly recommend a visit to Rainbow Beach. You won't regret it. We're in Woodgate and up sort of between Bundaberg and something, <laughs> not sure where. It's well known for the kangaroos. So for our American friends, yes, we do have kangaroos just walking up the streets. And lots of, lots of little joeys as well around here. Yeah, the little ones, here they are. These are little ones. Little cuties. Look at that, eh? Hey? <laughs> Woodgate is one of those places that Queenslanders know about, but nobody tells you about it. It's absolutely beautiful. But it's an inlet area. Oh, there's people out there fishing, going these little kayak fishing, swimming. Cute little spot. It's a, a town of about 800 people, north, about three hours north of Brisbane, and about an hour south of Bundaberg. It's a town of about 800 people. Some people describe it as a fisherman's paradise. We just love the um, gentle swimming areas we could go to and the big, expansive beaches. No saddles. This bear back. There's a lot of the holiday accommodation up here available. Um, I would suggest just avoiding Christmas break and also Easter. Any other time of year, wow, it's so beautiful. We love it. Not long after this, we started a house sit in Brisbane and then a few weeks later uh, was the news of coronavirus. It certainly did clip our wings on travel and as I said at the beginning of the video, we've just moved into a house. So let's have a look, we're going to deck it out and move on from there. Over the coming weeks, I'm going to upload our mural walk that we did in Maryborough before we got shut down on travel as well. In the meantime, if you haven't already done so, hit the like button and uh, subscribe to our channel.